Hi, this is Trish from Australian Labradoodles Midwest Connection, and I've got Mama Bindi laying here. This is Bindi, her very first litter, and she's very calm, and uh, actually she just had a bath, so she's all cleaned up and just just laying so peacefully so her babies can nurse. I'm going to show you each one of the puppies. They have all been adopted by some loving families that can't wait to take them home in another... Uh, Oh, eight weeks or so. So I'm just going to kind of go through the little pile here and show you the different colors and the coats. They're stunning and healthy puppies. As most people have heard, they're a litter of all males, which is pretty um, unusual. There's five of them. Let's lift her little leg up. She's going to let me do that there. And I'll pull each puppy back so you can get a closer look at it, um, and especially if you're one of the, the owners of this litter. Two of the puppies have been named. You can see Bindi's being very protective, even with me right here. Um, she she wonders what this camera is when I bring it out and sniffs it a lot. So she can see she's putting her paw over and kind of protecting and, and licking their back end is all normal behavior that stimulates them to go potty and, and eliminate. So she's doing that right now. This um, This puppy right here, oh, I did that wrong. Oh yeah, this is the orange collar puppy, the orange collar, and uh, it's actually, his name is Mac, M-A-C-K, this is Mac, and uh, he's just, oh, Mama's cleaning him up a little. He's adorable, little pudgy face. These puppies are stunning. Um, I can't tell you how beautiful they are. If I had the room, I would have, um, have kept back a male from this litter, because they're just gorgeous. This is considered a fleece coat, straight coat, non-shedding, allergy friendly. And again, this, this little boy is Mac. His family just named him today, so they're very excited. So there's a close-up of Mac. See if he lifts his head up for us. Of course, their eyes are closed. Their eyes don't open until about uh, 10 to 12 days old. Probably closer to 12. So that was Mac. This is the pink colored boy and that's why I was looking at him closely it almost looked like two orange colors but this is the pink colored boy he does not have a name yet so we're just going by the color of the collar turn him around here once he's gonna always want to gravitate back to the smell of mom and there's mom cleaning up his butt and they just lay very still like a newborn he is they're, they're, each one is just cuter than the next just a beautiful puppy. So that's the pink collared boy. It's a good mama, good Bindi. Is she a good mama? She's a good mama. And then we got, this is the purple collared boy. You can hear him He's sucking away there, nursing. He's our biggest one. Beautiful, dark, red coats on these guys. You can see he's almost walking already, which is pretty darn great. He's walking right over by Mama. And we don't have a name yet for the purple collared one either. It usually takes a few days for the families to figure out what they're going to name them. But that's the purple collared. The heads on these are stunning. This is a true awesome looking Australian Labradoodle puppy. They're blocky. They have a nice stop, which is their nose. It's it's more on the flat side. Uh, they're bulky like the lab. Just beautiful, beautiful puppies. And these are going to be in the uh, 22 to 25, maybe even up to 30 pound range when full grown. So there's the orange collared and, or is that the pink? I got to switch this color. Pink, I guess. That's the pink collared and, and the purple collared boys right there. Um, then we have the no collar. This one, oh no, this is not, this is the puppy with the star on his forehead. And uh, just a cute, cute puppy. Very, very handsome. His name, they have named him, this is Wilson. I love the name so far, Mac and Wilson. So Wilson is, um, they said, a very uh, Australian name. So they went with Wilson. 
and you can see them just getting uh, cleaned up. I, I think mom likes this because each one, oh no, she's cleaning up the other puppy, but each one she'll uh, clean them up here. And oh, this head is fabulous. If this isn't the nicest square head and stop. Oh, and their coats are like butter. They're just beautiful, beautiful coats. Nice in the red family. Bindi said, I'm going to sleep here for a little bit. So there's the beautiful puppy. That is Wilson with the white little splotch on his forehead. So, okay. I'm saying star. It's kind of just like a, a little, it looks like a drop of paint. He's just so cute. Very, very cute. And then after Wilson here is the one we are just calling no collar because he kind of outgrew his collar. He's also a nice sized puppy. So this one is, oh, we don't have a name yet for him either, but this is the no collared one. Oops, sorry, I'm not pointing the camera the right way. No collared puppy. Very close in, a uh, little bit shade lighter in red than this one, um, but um, beautiful. Beautiful. I just can't get over the beautiful heads on these puppies. Can't wait to see what they look like when they're full grown. This is Bindi's first litter, so it's um, exciting to see what a pairing that, you know, I've decided on how they actually turn out and not only at a puppy's stage, but at full grown. So I always hope the families will send pictures when they get older. Um, our next litter is um, between Willow and Harley. Those puppies are due right uh, the week of Christmas, if everything goes as planned. And um, she's definitely pregnant and eating a lot. Willow lives with me, so she, I see her every moment. <laughs> um, following that litter is Molly, who was bred to Keeper. And they're due about two to three weeks after Willow's litter. And right after that, I'm actually breeding, and one of the breedings took place today. Breezy, excuse me, not Breezy, um, Anna. Anna's been bred to keep her also. And so she'll come about a week after Molly's puppies. So there's lots of activity, lots of puppies coming down the pike. If you're interested to get a new puppy come uh, springtime, which is such a great time to, to get a puppy and raise a puppy, get your application in as soon as possible because... Currently, I have a wait list of 18 families, and it uh, this is my busy time. It's just going to fill up more, I believe, as we get closer to Christmas. Even though none of these puppies go home by Christmas time, people like to put a dog collar or dog dishes or a crate or whatever and wrap it and put it under the tree, and then the puppy comes a couple weeks later, so it really works out nice. So this is the whole little group here, and you can see they're nursing away. I'll see if I can get in a little closer while they're suckling. If you're interested in purchasing a future puppy, go to my website under the Contact Us tab and um, just uh, click on that and I'll get that information sheet from you and turn right around and send, send you two documents. One's called my introductory letter and the other is my puppy application. And you would fill out that puppy application, send it back to me with your deposit and that gets you on my wait list for one of the future puppies. So. And I just take them one at a time when the litters are born. I call right down the wait list. And if you're interested in taking one at that time, you tell me. If not, then we wait. For, you wait for the next available litter. You don't have to take a puppy. You can wait till you get exactly what you're wanting. And that's how we work our program here. So, who is that? They're my Bindi. She's such a good mama. Look at those pretty babies. Bindi is, uh, and I was told by the guardian to pass that on, just the most loving dog they own. She's just awesome. And she really is for coming here and birthing. She has been a gem. I can't get over what a great dog she is. So, <laughs> and beautiful. So anyways, that's it. Trish from Australian Labradoodles, Midwest Connection. Have a great Thanksgiving. And I will be posting a new video each week as these little bundles grow up so you can see how they're growing. Have a great holiday. Thanks.